Welcome to this practice, which is all about finding devotion. And I'm guessing that you're watching this because you may have had something happen that you're experiencing a little bit of loss of faith, that you're experiencing like you're alone in this world, that there is no help out there, that you have to do everything yourself. And it's such a struggle. This is where we might have that small voice of wisdom that says, no, it's not, that there is something beyond the hard knock school of life, that there is magic, there is mystery, there is some divine order, even if we can't see it in the moment. So all of the other videos I've made around yoga for feeling sexy or yoga for feeling grounded or yoga for feeling creative or yoga for feeling kick-ass, they've all been related to one of the five elements and they've corresponded to various body parts. This element that is related to devotion is the element of ether and it's beyond the five elements in the sense that it's a container for the five elements. So we'll be working with the full body and making shapes with our body. This idea that we are special because the energy that was divine energy chose to incarnate into a body for a reason. In yoga, we would talk about a dharma, a path, a, a purpose, a calling, something that is a need to be in the world. So if you're looking for devotion, then I want you just to begin by bringing your palms together, closing your eyes and you don't need to be religious at all, although you may have religious beliefs. You just need to know that there's a part of you that is very much connected to this planet. You are alive on it. You're stuck to it. You're very much just like all of the other human beings on this planet. In some ways, you're not very different at all. You have a heart that is beating and breath that needs to come and you need food and sleep and love and attention and all of those things just like every other person even your worst enemies and you're also totally unique there is no one else like you no one else could do the job that you do in this lifetime not the way you do it and in that way you are heavenly you are connected to divine source And we often lose track of that, but this practice is here to remind you about it. So let your eyes gently open now. We're gonna imagine that there's this place above us that has support, that has help, that has a map. And then there's this need, the human need for us to be guided and felt and expressed. And so when we bring the arms around, we're reaching up to the heavens. And then as you exhale, bring the palms and pull that heavenly wisdom. In yoga, we call it Brahman, the unbound potential. We're going to reach up and take some. When we're feeling a little disconnected, take some and bring it through your heart center. Let it filter through like a coffee, filtering through into a cup. Inhale, heaven arms up exhale to me i need help i'm asking for guidance one more time inhale can you do it with joy exhale gratitude this time as you breathe in we'll lift the arms slightly higher than the shoulders exhale just turn and just tap touch your your um, hand to your knee you'll inhale reach back up and exhale, twist to the other side. We're going to move on the breath. So you inhale and lift. You exhale and lower. Close your eyes. Feel the heart. One of the most important things that a teacher ever said to me was, if I exist today, given that I do not choose when I live or when I die, it's because I'm supposed to be alive. There's something that wants me to live. 
And for that reason, I show up for myself and for that other thing that wants me to be here. I don't know the impact truly that I make in this world. Perhaps I'll never know. I don't know the impact that I'll make in others' lives. I don't know for many cases, but I'm here for a reason. One more time. Take it back up and then relax your fingertips down. Keep the chest lifted. Just turn your head side to side. Feel a little freer in the face. And then we'll take some full body movements here. So come to stand at the front of your mat in Tadasana. So the feet are parallel, maybe hips width apart. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Heaven, exhale, fold down to earth. Let your head release. Inhale up halfway, that place where we get stuck between the two. Exhale, fold. Inhale, taking the arms all the way up. Exhale, palms to heart center. Let it settle within you. Inhale, arms reaching up. Exhale, fold to the earth. Release your head. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Take the arms round and up. And then palms to heart center, close your eyes. Just let the breath settle. And then you're gonna take a nice wide stance. Have, if you have blocks, have them either end of your mat. And then turn your right toes up, extend your arms long and come into triangle. Now, I like to use a block high level so that I get length through the side. And then I want to line my arms up so there's this heaven to earth alignment. I feel grounded through the feet. I feel strong in my legs, but I feel soft and lifted through the upper body. When I turn my head up to the thumb, it's like I'm looking up beyond my fingertips for guidance. And I can hold this for five breaths. And then we'll take this into Ardha Chandrasana. Bend into your right knee, take the block to the other side, and then see if you can lift up and have a little faith that you can hold this. Can you imagine that there's actually a puppeteer holding your fingertips and holding your leg up? So you don't have to work so hard. It's a co-creative situation. Heaven to earth, earth to heaven. Soft bend in your knee, land back and take your block back. Turn to the other side, extending the fingers out long, and then taking the block Lying the fingertips up, heaven to earth, gaze to the thumb. This is the devotional aspect, the gaze. I have faith, I'm protected. There's something more than just me. Take the gaze down, bring your hand to your hip, bend into your front knee, bring your foot in just a smidgen and then let's lift the back leg into Ardha Chandrasana, left side. Slowly bend into the left foot, take the block back, come back to stand. And then we're going to come down onto the ground and take fish pose. Fish pose with two blocks or it could be a couple of cushions. So you take one block to highest level, second block to the medium head level. And this pose is a gentle back bend. It's a heart opener to, when we feel devotion and we want to open the heart, right? If you've seen a lot of religious iconography, you have beams and things coming out of the heart because there's that feeling of, of joy of, yeah, someone's there, you know, it's, it's something, it's magic, it's mystery, it's the, the you know, little extras that we get in life. 
And so this pose, fish pose, is a representation of that. Come down, shoulder blades onto the block, second block supports the back of the head, and then arms are out alongside the body. Take the feet and bring them together, and then flex your feet, push through the heels, and then I'd like you to point your toes now, keep the foot pointed, but can you bring the toes back? So there's still a lot of strength in the legs. The feet are pointed, but the toes are drawn back like you're wearing high heel shoes. And then grab the sides of your mat, pull the elbows in a little closer and holding here for five breaths. Deep breath in, exhale for one, Inhale, feel as if you're being zipped up the center line of your body. Exhale, on the exhale particularly. Inhale, exhale, last time, inhale, and exhale. Relax your feet, let your feet flop out. Just press away from the ground, come to sit back up for a minute and then take your blocks out of the way. Yeah, take your hands behind your back, just scoot so that you're in this 90 degree, degree angle. Feet are flexed and then lift the arms up overhead. Keep the fingers lifted, the feet flexed. Try to become completely impartial of yourself here. Try to be like you're bored of listening to yourself, right? You're so bored of listening to your rumbles, your gripes, your human complaints, as if you were looking down above yourself, looking down on you. You know the plan, you've seen the big picture, and you see yourself maybe kind of sweetly smiling, like, oh, there they are complaining, if only they knew. If only they could see everything we could see. Let your heart be lifted. Inhale and then exhale coming forward. Paschimottanasana, taking the hands around the feet or to the ankles. Lengthen the chest forward. Inhale, drop your head enough so that the crown of the head feels like a, like the funnel on a whale's head. Try to align the top fontanelle so that little circle in the middle of your head. See if you can align that with your tailbone. So you've got a long spine that will give you a beautiful open channel for this inspiration, genius, unbound potential. The universe, the cosmos, psychic awareness, your sixth sense, all of these words have been used to describe that which comes from beyond your thinking mind. AKA devotion. And press into the legs, come back up. And then I want you to come down into Shavasana Nice and carefully placing your body up. Be attentive to how you take your body down to the mat, how you take care of your body on the mat. When we are reverential of our divinity, we take care of our bodies. settle and feel as if you're being held, as if you had two hands underneath you, holding you. Allow the magic to happen to you.
trust that it works. Begin to make your way back to a comfortable seat. And as you come back up, I am here to remind you that yes, you are supported in a plane that is beyond this physical plane. There is a spiritual plane. You are being guided. You are being helped. You are not alone. And I hope that through this practice, you can be reminded of that. Be aware, pay attention, watch out for the signs. Namaste.